Hello, and before we begin, if you are a user of Discord, you might be interested in our League 1 and 2 Discord server. The League 1 and 2 Discord gives users an opportunity to be with all your fellow fans. The Discord has chat channels, match day threads, and voice channels, as well as other exciting ways to communicate with your fellow fans. All fans are welcome, and each fan gets their team assigned to their own server profile. We are looking for representatives from each team in the Discord, so spread the word and join our growing League 1 and 2 Discord community. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, a link to buy me a coffee is down in the description below. You can click that and if you consider supporting the channel, thank you very much. Welcome to German Jills. It's been nine days, but we are back in action tonight as Jills take on Rotherham United. The German Jills show will have all angles covered today with the live match reaction coming from your host, Reese. There always seems to be a winner in this matchup historically, and that was no different the last time we met the Millers. German Jules has come in live from Duisburg, Germany, to see how all the action unfolds this Tuesday night at the New York Stadium. Schön, dass du da bist und los geht's, Jules. Welcome to the German Jules Show as Gillingham head up to Yorkshire to play Rotherham United this Tuesday night. Rotherham top of the table at the moment and flying high. Jules in the relegation zone. It looks like this fixture is only going to be going one way, but who knows what's going to happen today at 7.45. Here over in Germany though, it's 8.45 and it's great to have you here again. It's a late one on a Tuesday night. I'm going to be your host for this German Jules Show. And if you haven't done so already, take a look at our socials. That is Instagram, which is German Jules. And of course, our Twitter, which is Deutsche Jills. To go straight to the live match reaction, look at the time at the top of the screen and go to that point in the video. The Jills head up to Yorkshire tonight, play top of the table Rotherham United. Rotherham have started this season excellently and find themselves at the top of the table looking to get back into the championship. They'll also be welcoming our manager Steve Evans to their stadium. I think he's really liked over there, so he should get a really good reception. Uh, but Jills go there again with not the fittest team that we can have. And uh, as a result of this uh, injury-ridden team, we definitely, uh, we definitely find ourselves in the relegation zone and probably kind of worth it to a certain extent. Uh, but when we start getting players back, I expect our performance will improve and we'll get more points on the table. But today is a big ask. I think we've got Bennett back and we've got Tutonda back and we've got one player who is out with COVID, which has been kept in secrecy for some reason. I don't know who that is. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out when the game uh, commences. Uh, but also, our history against Rotherham is interesting. Uh, there's either Gillingham, I think, 124 in the history. Rotherham have 120 and there are been 15 draws between the teams so uh, it, it could fall either way but judging by the form at the moment it looks like it's going to tip in Rotherham's favour but who knows what can happen in the fixture today uh, but let's have a look at what happened the last time we played Rotherham United so this game was just before the COVID pandemic and Rotherham went to this game favourites and they won a penalty early in the first half which was saved by Jack Bonham However, only two minutes later, Smith pounced on a mistake by Connor Overby and Jack Bonham to put the Millers 1-0 up. And just before halftime, Crooks made the score 2-0 to the Millers with a really delightful chip over Jack Bonham. And Crooks doubled his tally right at the end of the game to make the final score Gillingham nil, Rotherham United 3. Let's head over to the New York Stadium for tonight's live match reaction. Los Gates Jills! And we are about to get underway. It looks like the player, the mystery COVID player, looks like it was Jamie Cumming, which is a big hit for Jills. Uh, we have got Chapman in goal. We know he can perform, but uh, obviously Cumming has been keeping us in a lot of games all season. So it's going to be a hard one tonight. We've got four on the bench. All, all of them are youth players. Jills are really at the bare bones, but it's not a bad team from Jills, really. But, you know, obviously it's not our strongest. If we had this team all season, we would go down. Anyway, let's see how this one goes. 
Jill's coming forward with Stuart O'Keefe. Can Jill's fashion an early opportunity here? They've got a kinder going forward. You've got Jackson right. He's put across the box and Jill's have scored! Jill's have scored in the first four minutes of this game against Rotherham! Oh my god, I don't believe it. Ollie Lee's put it in the back of the net. It is unbelievable. The first real attack of the game and Jill's have gone one nil up. Unbelievable! I just can't believe we've managed to score against the vision tops <laughs> top uh, top of the table. I'm lost my lost for words here, as you can tell. And it, I mean, uh, um, O'Keefe uh, dispossessed Rotherham in the centre of the pitch, came forward, found Jackson actually on the right-hand side, put it across the box, and Ollie Lee manages to get something on that and put it in the back of the net. Unbelievable. I don't know if this is going to last at all, but I'm going to... We haven't scored in a while, so I am going to drink this one in. <laughs> Jules a one nil up away at Rotherham. So Rob got a corner on the left-hand side. It's looking dangerous at the moment. They're trying to get one back from early goal by Jills. It's heading in front of goal. It's gone around over the place. A decent save by Chapman. Rotherham have come out the blocks here as Jill, um, after Jills have gone ahead and have had a couple of corners. And that was a decent save by Chapman. It's their first real proper attack that looked really dangerous as it went in front of goal and half sliced away by, um, by Tucker. Actually, that's a decent save by Chapman, actually. Um, that's Rotherham's best opportunity so far. And as we just see that again, Gillingham injuries again. Max Aimer as looks like he's just dislocated his shoulder. When is it going to end for Jills and these injuries and, and problems? I mean, we haven't got anything on the bench to be able to support this. I don't know what Steve Evans is going to do now. It's looking pretty dire for Jills to win one nil up if we get out of this game alive. I don't know if it's even possible with this now. But uh, it's looking pretty sorry for Jills at the moment. Rotherham coming forward. This could be a dangerous take of children. Clear their lines. It needs to get away. Good save. But ah, oh, that's really unlucky that Rotherham have managed to score in that fashion. Because Jills have been pretty good most of the game. I mean, Rotherham have looked dangerous in fairness. And the goal in which they concede is a lucky, scrappy goal, which is what you'd expect kind of at this level, to be fair. And uh, Jills can feel a little bit unlucky that that's gone in the back of the net. But when you're at the top of the table, your luck goes for you. And when you're at the bottom of the table, it goes against you. And that's a prime example of it. I mean, it was a ball that really, you know, Rotherham strikers held it up. It really should have been cleared here. Uh, it's not the great movement by Chapman. He should be spreading his legs a bit wider to block that. But it's gone in the back of the net and Rotherham have equalised. Rum got a free kick on the right hand side as it comes over. Jills need to get this clear again. It's gone right to the back post and gone across the face and cleared away by Jills. Another volley and it's gone in again. And Rotherham have turned it around right before half time. It was actually a really nice controlled volley um, by a, a Rotherham um, a striker or midfielder. I didn't quite catch who it was. And it just went into the right hand side of uh, Chapman's post. I mean, it, it felt like it took an age to go in. I didn't think, I thought it was going wide by the keeper's reaction, actually, by not really chasing this down. I mean, it was a good ball over the top, well headed back, half clear by O'Keefe, and then it's a fantastically controlled volley. It might have even taken a tiny deflection on the way through, and it looks like Jill's going to go into half time, one goal down. And that is half time. And at half time, it's uh, Rotherham 2, Gillingham 1. Jules went ahead very on through uh, Ollie Lee. Um, and unfortunately, uh, after that, Max Aim had to go off for a dislocated shoulder, what it looked like. Um, so hopefully he can get back, hopefully in a couple of games' time. But it did look pretty nasty. However, uh, Rotherham did get two soft goals back and in the latter stage of that first half, unfortunately. Uh, and, but I suppose if you're at the top of the league, your quality and luck go in your favour. If you're at the bottom, it goes the other way. And I think that's what happened uh, there. Uh, so Jules have got a big uphill task. Uh, next half but we'll have to wait and see how that unfolds but uh, I think on the on the grand scheme of things we can be disappointed but I think Rotherham just about maybe just about our we are out for the second half and uh, just at half time and Kinde's been subbed off so Turley's come on looks like Kinde's also been injured that's two uh, this game now we've had go off due to injury it's not looking good for Jules at the moment I, I don't expect us to score uh, the rest of the game I expect Rob to get a couple more that's how I think the game is going to pan out Robin got a call on the right hand side again. And as it comes in, it's an in swinger. That's quite deep. And oh, Chapman's at the tip of the post. And they've given a penalty. I didn't quite see what that was for. But I don't know what that was for. But the referee's given a penalty. I'd like to see that one again. But here's what the penalty is for. Can I identify this? Oh, it's I think it's by McKenzie who's brought down his man and uh 
Unfortunately, I think I agree with the referee on that one. That is a penalty. Um, and Rotherham looks like they've got a great chance to go 3-1 up. Rotherham got a penalty here. And it is gone to the back of the net. Hit the roof of the net. Down the centre. And Rotherham have taken a two-goal lead. Good penalty, that as well. If you go hit that hard down the centre, it's uh, <laughs> a pretty good chance of it going in. Because normally the keeper is going to dive. And that was a case with Chapman as he went down to his left-hand side. The ball ended up in the roof of the net. Down the centre of the goal. Robin Free went up and looks like they're going to run away with this victory, this uh, this game, this Tuesday night. Yeah, decent penalty. He got his foot through that. Solid connection. Um, but yeah, Robin Free, chilling and one, as I expected for this half. Well, that's fantastic work by Ollie Lee. Can Jules get a great chance here? Can we score this? What are you doing, Lloyd? Take the shot. I mean, when you lux out, you lux out. But sometimes you've got to say it was just a really poor decision. And I think that was it. Lloyd should have just put his foot through it. That's you. one of the rare chances we had that game, uh, this half. Really, really great work by Ollie Lee. And really disappointed by Danny Lloyd. Robin looking to break the right-hand side. They are doing that. That's probably going to be a penalty. Yeah, and that's a penalty. And Jackson's done something really stupid there. He's He's been beat. He's absolutely been beat and he should just let his man slide because his man's got a lot of work to do to get the ball across the box and you've just given them another opportunity which is probably going to invariably end up in a goal. Yeah, like, I mean, what are you doing, Jackson? Really, that's terrible. Really is, you know, you, you, your team are 3-1 down. You have a sliver of a chance up into the game. He just thrown it away. They might have scored from that attack. You don't know. But we, let's find out. He's beating you. Don't do anything else here. And as a result, he's been sent off. <laughs> so it's his second yellow card because earlier in the game he delayed taking a throw in so terrible decision from Jackson really disappointing and that is summing up Jill's not only game but season at the moment but that's a really poor decision by Jackson and Jill's it wouldn't surprise me will go down three or four uh, four or five goals this half and here's the penalty and it is um, oh, he's missed it. It's hit the crossbar and comes straight back out. He's missed the penalty entirely. Jills are, well, they're not in the game really, but, you know, <laughs> it didn't convert the penalty. As Rotherham are still on the attack as the ball comes in, then it's cleared away. Jills down to 10 men, still 3-1 Rotherham. It's a great ball four by Rotherham. This could be their fourth goal. Oh, it's not the best boss four or three or Jules players there, but they spend that to the right hand side. It takes the shot, and that's a fantastic finish. I have to say, that's a fantastic goal in the end. They caught Jules on the counter, and that's a tidy finish in the bottom left hand corner. And uh, Rotherham are now going to run away, away with it. Like I said it at half after <laughs> half time that they probably will run away with it. And uh, here we go. As it stands, Rotherham four, Gillingham one. I want to see that goal again. That's a fantastic ball forward, actually. And then there's, you know, there's two Rotherham players there. And then you've got a, a triangle defence here. And they just see that little route on the right-hand side. First time shot. Bang. Bottom left-hand corner. Chapman, no chance getting in that. And uh, hopefully Jill's <laughs> can just keep, the head, keep going, keep their head up and not try and concede another one. Because obviously we have to bear in mind our goal difference as well. But, yep. Rotherham four. Gillingham one. It's a great uh, move by Rotherham at the moment. They're going to get another opportunity as they take the shot. And what a finish that is. Wow. I have to say, the quality that Rotherham have in their team at the moment is extraordinary. They've obviously... <laughs> They've got some uh, quite a championship quality players if they're putting shots like that in the back of the net. And I wish I could say the same for Jills. But obviously, you know, if you're top of the table again and you put in shots like that, <laughs> I think you deserve to be there. That is an absolute top finish as well. And uh, <laughs> and it stands Rotherham 5, Gillingham 1. And I just want to I want to say, I mean, O'Keefe put in a, you know, you can see his frustration here. He's put in one strong challenge there. He then puts in another one. Ref plays a very good advantage. Um, and then just gets on the edge of the box, pings that. It might take a slight deflection, but under the cross side, uh, under the top of the crossbar and into the back of the net. What a tidy finish that is. Rotherham 5, Gillingham 1. And that is full time. And as it ended, it was Rotherham 5, Gillingham 1. And if you get a team at the top of the table who's got one of the stronger teams in the whole division, play against a Gillingham team where you've got up to now nine injuries uh, and kids starting and playing 
uh, on the pitch and you've got three or only four on the bench, you expect that the top of the table team are going to put five or even more past you. It could have been six or seven, to be fair. And Jules, uh, they were dead and buried by the start of the second half, really. Pretty much as soon as the red card uh, for Jackson happened as well. Um, it's not looking good for Jules. You've got Aimer, who looks like he's not going to make Saturday. Jackson won't be there for Saturday against a Fleetwood side as well, who are, um, you know... In the relegation battle as well, and if it doesn't, if we don't get any players back, if we had this for all season, we would be down. It's not looking great for Jules at the moment, but um, hopefully we can get some players back and fit and start turning things around. But it's going to be a long struggle this season. It seems to be now. Congratulations to Rotherham. Um, I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the season. You've got a very solid team there, and you'll be up there by the end of the season, it auto or if not automatic, definitely in the playoffs. So good luck to you guys as well. Um, but yeah, if you haven't done so already, uh, we also have our um, Instagram, which is just German Jills, our Twitter, which is Deutsche Jills. You can also join our League 1 and 2 Discord server. All the link is in, is in the description down below. And if you would like to support the German Jills channel, the link to buy me a coffee is also down in the description below. Thank you very much if you've made it this far in the video. And as ever, Los Gates Jills.